Hello there, in this episode I'm going to be talking about um, the effect of nanite and GPU scene on your scene's performance. So in this scene we have 30,000 draw calls in a mobile previewer, it's a, uh, an Android ES 3.1 and 5 million triangles down. So all of these meshes are the um, meshes that are great for testing because they have a lot of material slots and one of uh, each one of these material slots is uh, a draw call and that will make this mesh perfect for testing I've got I've duplicated like a five thousands of it and it's all in one scene and it's making roughly 30,000 draw calls so if we go into the mesh uh, the nanite is enabled if I disable it the triangle drown will just increase drastically, like 20 million. But the draw call, uh, the draw call count doesn't really change much. I mean, it doesn't change at all. So nanite helps reducing the triangle drown um, in the scene. So you should go ahead and enable nanite support for every mesh into your scene if you're working on mobile. I'm specifically talking about mobile right here in this example i uh i set the keep triangle percent at 50 percent fallback triangle percent at 10 percent apply changes save and we have less triangles drawn uh it's, i guess it reduced the triangle drawn in health but what about the draw primitive calls? So that's something you could easily do with the GPU scene. So if you go into the edit, project settings, um, in the rendering tab, there's something called enable GPU scene on mobile. Well, I'll talk that I'll talk about it in, in a second. So if you go ahead and I don't want the landscape. If you grab all the meshes, um, all the meshes and go into actor, merge actors of 4,608 actors and hit batch. It will try to batch them in a second and now look at the draw primitive calls. It was 30,000 draw calls and now it's at 570 okay let's go ahead um let's go ahead and uh enable gpu scene on mobile i have to restart the editor after this so uh i'll just pause the video for a second okay now the editor is back on um you can see that let me set fps I didn't save the project my uh, FVS so all the instancing all the batches I did uh, didn't get saved so all of them are not instanced right now but my FVS is much much better than what it was before it was just because um, the GPU scene wasn't enabled my FVS was around 15 10 or something like this but um, let's go ahead and again Batch them all together. Okay, now everything's fixed, and uh, my frame rate is probably near 60s. It just takes a little bit of time to load sometimes, load all the instances, but when it loads everything, it's just great in performance. So, how is the stats RHI? Let's see. So as you remember, it was 5 million triangles drowned. It's now less than a million and less than 500. It was 570. It's now at, at uh, it's 475. Okay. So everything's much, much better. So to conclude everything, um, you need to go ahead and make sure that Nanite is enabled in all the meshes in your, into your scene. And 
also go to the project settings, rendering, and make sure that GPU scene is enabled on mobile. And you'll get a scene like this, a pretty big scene like this that's got a lot of meshes in it, 4,608 meshes, including 8 material slots each. It shouldn't be optimized, but using GPU scene and Nanite all together, it will be pretty optimized for using in mobile. Um, I hope this video helped you, and if it did, please hit that like button. Have a great day. Bye.